Uh, okay, we have a uh, Ho Kunha Silva uh, with us. Uh, uh, welcome, Ho. Uh, Hello. I'm, ha I'm happy uh, I have you here as uh, Kunha Silva Academy, uh, uh, which you are the director of, uh, will be our new uh, partnering academy uh, located in uh, Portugal, uh, close to Lisbon. So, Ho, uh, why don't you tell uh, tell us a bit more about your uh, your tennis career? Uh, how you uh, began with uh, coaching, and how did you get to start uh, your own academy? Hello, it's my pleasure to be here. So the things went quite uh, naturally. I was a professional tennis player until the year 2000 when my daughter was born. So I decided with the family that uh, after a big injury that I had also on my right knee with three surgeries after that, there was a nice time to to finish and start uh, um, a new life as a, as a coach in uh, our academy. So I was uh, number one junior in the world in 85. Um, played 17 years as a professional tennis uh, player. I was uh, 108 as a best singles uh, ranking, six years on the top 120, six years top 100 uh, doubles ATP player reaching uh, 72 plays. Um, so then uh, I started here at Tuaeiras, Portugal, on the year 2000. Since then, well, many things have, uh, many good things have, have happened. We have been uh, helping and performing uh, many Portuguese and foreign players. Uh, three of them, uh, two boys, one girl, top 100, uh, many, many, many top 200 and uh, several ones with very good results on the junior circuit too. So, well, uh, we are in a, a good cycle uh, again. Uh, also during uh, 2008 and 2012, supervising uh, a second team, I was director of the High Performance, uh, Performance Center here in, in Portugal. And uh, now I'm fully 100% dedicated here at uh, Waitas. And uh, that's it. We are helping uh, many young players again who are not too professional. Some of them go and come. And uh, I'm full time here. Yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, so why don't you say uh, more about uh, your academy, about the facilities you have, uh, courts and everything around, uh, how many coaches are in your team and uh, yeah, uh, what uh, day, daily life in the academy looks like. Mm -hmm. Sure. So our headquarters, as I said, uh, are here at Wires. We are about uh, five minutes from the from the sea. Unbelievable, nice area. We have um, the st the tennis structure with uh, eleven courts. Seven are just for the academy. We have we are the only club in Portugal, actually the only structure to have the, the three surfaces available. So we have a very nice clay court, uh, synthetic grass three courts and uh, two green set. So we have gyms inside. So we have everything ready to perform at a high level and any level of uh, a normal tennis school. We have almost 300 uh, general players, around uh, 35 on the competition center, starting at uh, 10 years old until the professionalism. And uh, I have seven more coaches working with me, four of them just on the competition center, the other three on the standard tennis school, one more with mini tennis. So yeah, but, uh, at the end, this is the the team, and uh, well, uh, a stand a standard day on the competition center is uh, with the practice from uh, tennis practice from nine to eleven minimum. They can go more 
then from three to five with the the the, the fitness coach with them between or after the afternoon session uh, most part of the times it makes sense can be before nine but uh, this is very individually of course and uh, well then we have uh, several uh, tennis uh, tennis classes for every everybody and also for the the youngsters we also have sessions on the competition center from five to seven and from seven to nine in the evening mm -hmm. very good uh, and how uh, your personal day looks like uh, are you are you uh, most of the time on the court with competition players or are you overseeing uh, uh, all the players around uh, of course you as a, as a director you have many administrative things to do so how do you how do you combine uh, uh... Uh, so, so no I, I'm many hours I'm almost eight hours a day on court actually. Mm. So, but I pass around <laughs> 13, 14 hours at the academy. So the mm. other part of the day, of course, is in the office. Uh, I have a person almost full time with me. My wife is also in the office. So, of course, it's a big help. Mm. And um, yeah, I, I, I like to be on court. Uh, I supervise the, the things, but uh, I'm most part of the times between six and eight hours per day on court too. Mm -hmm. Uh, so quite a portion of of work and uh, also yes. of coaching. <laughs> uh, you spoke about the number of players uh, in your academy. Uh, what's the structure of the players? Uh, you mentioned from ten years on, even uh, like mini tennis. Uh, how many how many kids you have in different categories, and how many of them are uh, Portuguese? How many of them are international? Do you have some kind of percentage? For us? Well, we have uh, many of, of, of both, uh, either Portuguese and uh, foreigners. Uh, actually, a lot of uh, foreigners are coming uh, to visit us, but also to to live in, uh, in Portugal. We have Russians, we have Japanese, we have English, we have Swiss. We have many, many people not just kids um, also players from 16 years old uh, uh, up uh, we have a, an Australian professional player and the kids coming and going players sometimes uh, staying with us for several weeks or months for example this year before the French Open win then we had Lutz Woodvardi the the girl that was runner up uh, later in the Wimbledon, Wimbledon Junior uh, tournament um, her sister for example also Hungarian partner was uh, before the pandemic working with us uh, for uh, a big while so she is now 70 something in the in the world just uh, won the the 125 in buenos aires mm -hmm. and uh, well they 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 sometimes uh, many players pass here to to practice with us and of course we have many portuguese regular players of uh, good levels as i was saying starting with 10 years old under 12 we have some good kids from the national team under 16 too mm -hmm. so that's our reality okay nice uh, so what keeps you going in your uh, daily work with uh, young players? What is uh, your motivation uh, you are trying to uh, give also to, the, to your coaching team? And what would be the biggest asset and benefit of your academy if you uh, can compare it with uh, other academies or clubs? Uh, what, what do you think is, uh, uh, is the highlight of your academy uh, in terms of uh, facilities, in terms of coaching team? Uh, what what would you say? Well, for sure, three or four things that makes the difference. First of all, is uh, to have a, a person like myself daily on court, uh, working and devoted to the to the players with big motivation, because it's something that uh, I like to do very much. I've helped many players, but uh, I'm still very devoted and very motivated to. The passion is is big, and uh, I think everybody feels and recognizes when once they are over here. Uh, a second uh, one is that all the team 
that works with me were ex players, so everybody uh, quite uh, young but very ambitious and very devoted, uh, very good sparring partners too. That they really know about the, the circuit, they play themselves, they, they have been working with me for years. Uh, almost all of them were my players before. And so there is a, a, a very good empathy between us uh, and, uh, and the methodology respected by everybody. So this is very important. Uh, the location, it's unbelievable. And once you are here, you understand what I'm speaking about. We are, uh, we are 20 minutes far, far from the Lisbon airport actually in the middle of uh, Lisbon town and uh, the, the very recognized area of Estoril and Cascais. So, as I said before, about uh, five minutes driving from, from the seats, uh, 20 minutes walk distance, so it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And uh, last but not the least, the, the, the relationship between uh, cost and, uh, and the quality of work, I think it speaks by, by itself. And once everybody says that uh, sometimes they, they don't know Portugal yet uh, that well, but once they come, once the players are here, everybody says that uh, the relationship is very, very good. Perfect. Um, I think it, that was a great introduction uh, of your academy. I I thank you very much for your time and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, our collaboration. My pleasure. Thank you.